the love bracelet when it first came out was two hundred and fifty dollars think about that for a second I belong, I belong to you hello hello i wanted to give a review of the cartier love necklace and the love ring and talk about why it's such a great investment talk about prices how you can save on it all of that good stuff I remember when I was looking for Cartier jewelry to invest in it for the first time, I loved watching these YouTube videos because you actually got to almost see and feel through the camera what the product was like and make a decision on whether or not you wanted to buy it. So that is my intent for this video, to help educate and entertain you. Am I focused? Okay, let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, so I'll first talk about um, the product itself, everything around my All right, I'll first talk about the details of the products themselves. Both the necklace and the ring and pretty much any Cartier jewelry is solid 18 karat gold. <laughs> not gold for me, not gold plated, solid gold, meaning it will not fade and it's truly a ride or die piece of jewelry. For both the ring and the necklace, I rarely ever take it off. The ring I take it off when I sleep because I've lost it in my bed before. <laughs> and for the necklace, I haven't taken it off since I've gotten it. I think 18 karat gold is the way to go for investment jewelry because it lasts the longest and it won't fade. As for the love necklace, I got the one that's two interlocking rings. I know Cartier has a few different love necklaces, but this is the one I chose based on some special meaning. So basically it represents my mom and me and we're intertwined. The back comes with one clasp, so it's one size actually. When you buy jewelry from Cartier, it comes in this beautiful red bag and box and it comes with a whole set of aftercare products as well. So everything from cleansers to brushes to little microfiber cloths. You also have storage cases to take with you on the go in case you're traveling. Quick overview of the rings. I have the thinnest size of the four different sizes and that's because I wanted something a little bit more subtle and elegant. This is also 18 karat gold, so it will not fade. I wear this with me pretty much everywhere. It's a little bit scratched because it's well loved, but you can get it polished at the Cartier store if you want to every couple of years. So I want to talk about why I purchased it and my thoughts after wearing it for some time. I'll start with the necklace. I've wanted this necklace for literally years and I wanted a gold tone necklace to match with my other gold tone um, stacker necklace. And so for me, I always wear these two. They're set. When it came to choosing a gold toned necklace, I was choosing between three different options. Uh, the Cartier love necklace, that's one single circle. The Cartier necklace that's two interlooping circles and the Van Cleef Sweet Alhambra Mother of Pearl uh, motif necklace. I ended up going with this Cartier necklace for three reasons. So firstly, it's low maintenance. The biggest reason why I got this Cartier necklace as opposed to the other Cartier necklace and the Sweet Alhambra necklace is because I love working out, being in the sun, sweating. And I felt like this one, because it had a thicker chain, it's solid gold, and there wasn't any jewel or pearl attached to it that it would be the easiest to take care of. Second, I actually have the Cartier love ring and I had this for two years before I got the necklace. And so I knew the design was something that I found would be classic and that I'd wear for a very long time. And third, compared to the other Cartier Love necklace, I felt like this one was a little bit more understated and more subtle as opposed to the other one, which is more bold and slightly flashier. When you look close up and you compare the ring and the necklace, the necklace is actually not fully circular. So it's not fully circular as you can tell, whereas the ring is circular. That's just a small nuance that I noticed. All right, let's talk about the good stuff here because I'm an invested-minded woman and not just a shopaholic. <laughs> I want to talk about why the Cartier love necklace and ring are good investments and not just pretty jewelry pieces. And that's for two reasons. First, Cartier retains value really well. And second, there's always demand on the secondary resale market for Cartier jewelry pieces. 
All right, diving into the first reason. So Cartier retains value really well over time. And that's because the Cartier brand is really strong. It's known internationally, it's a global brand, and people know of their iconic jewelry pieces. Because of that, the jewelry pieces retain value. Cartier also raises their prices occasionally, so their last price raise was in August 2021. Cartier raised prices by around 3% and they're expecting to raise prices again in the coming months by another 3-5%. to and to put the love collection in perspective, the love bracelet when it first came out was $250. Think about that for a second. It's worth over 4K today. That's insane. Of course, over time, the brand has grown and the price has reflected that, but still, these luxury brands will not lower their prices ever because that would be diluting their brand. They're always going to raise it, whether incrementally or by a lot. And diving into the second reason, there's always a man on the secondary market for Cartier jewelry pieces, especially the love collection. So the love rings, the love bracelets, and the love necklaces. So if you go on the real real, rarely are Cartier necklaces, rings, bracelets available because people put themselves on wait lists so they can buy it as soon as one becomes available. If you look at the love ring here, all these secondary jewelry pieces of all shapes, sizes, and variations of the love ring, they're all high in demand. So what this means is you won't have a hard time finding a buyer to sell it to if you decide that it's not something that you want to keep anymore and you'd rather sell it and take that money and invest in another jewelry piece or whatever kind of investment, stocks, cars, whatever. And what you'll also see is that this piece is retaining its value because its secondary market price is almost as much as the original price of the new jewelry piece. That's a sign of a good investment piece of jewelry. Okay, I wanted to talk about three things regarding the price. So one, the price that I bought it for in the US. Two, price increases over time. And third, differences in the price between the US and Europe and how you can save hundreds of dollars by buying it in Europe. In terms of the prices that I bought these items for, I purchased this necklace last month in Las Vegas for $23.80 before tax, $25.70 after tax. And as for the ring, I purchased it in 2020 for around $10.65 and I believe today in 2022, it's around $11.70 at retail price. In terms of price history, Cartier raised their prices in August 2021 by around 3% and Cartier expects to raise their prices for their jewelry again in the coming months by around 3-5%. to I personally see luxury jewelry as an investment, no different from stocks, cars, real estate, and I think that demand for a brand like Cartier will lead to appreciation of the overall value of the product. In terms of purchasing Cartier jewelry in the US versus in Europe, I think you can save somewhere between $200 to $400 in USD just by buying in Europe and I'll break down exactly why that is. So let's assume that this Cartier necklace, which is worth $23.80 in US dollars, is the same price in Europe. So that's around $22.60 euros, assuming a 1 to 1.05 conversion rate. In Europe, you have something called VAT, which is value added tax. Tourists that visit Europe from the US don't need to pay tax in those countries and so what they get is a VAT tax refund. This VAT tax refund is around 12% of the product price. So what this means is if you're buying a Cartier necklace for $23.80 in Europe and you save 12% because you're getting that refunded back to you at the mall or at the airport, you're saving around $285 in US dollars. But also keep in mind that I pay tax in the US on this product, which was around $190. So the difference between $23.80 and $25.70. The total cost that you would save if you bought this in Europe would be $190 plus $285, which is around $475 US dollars. Wow. <laughs> now let's run the same math for the Cartier ring. The Cartier love ring is priced at $1170 US dollars for the thinnest size in yellow gold, which is around 1110 euros. A 12% VAT tax refund would save you around 140 USD. Further, tax in the US is around $90 for this product, assuming an 8% tax rate. And so total savings are around $230 if you purchase this love ring in Europe. That's pretty significant. And I'm not telling you to go to Europe to buy these pieces of jewelry specifically, but if you have friends or family visiting Europe, they may pick it up for you. Or if you're planning a Europe trip sometime in the future, it might make sense to wait a little bit to buy it there. 
All right, let's summarize because I threw a lot of information at you. So one, the quality of these jewelry pieces is impeccable. 18 karat solid gold, nothing to worry about when it comes to working out, showering, sleeping, etc. Even though they tell you to like take care of it and take it off. These jewelry pieces are truly ride or die everyday pieces. In addition to that, the brand name of Cartier helps retain the value of these jewelry pieces over time. As we can see by how well they retain their value on the secondary market and at how much Cartier is able to increase their prices over time and still have high demand. I also think these pieces are elegant and timeless and they pretty much match with everything you wear so you never have to think about accessorizing or taking it on and off to match your clothes. And finally, if you purchase in Europe versus in the US, you can save anywhere between $200 and $500 um, on these jewelry pieces. All right, I hope you're better able to make a decision on whether or not these are the right investment pieces of jewelry for you and I'll talk to you very soon. <laughs>